Hello everyone, so today I'll be talking about the Raspberry Pi shortage right now. So right now we have a shortage of Raspberry Pi single board computers and the main sites where you could buy them at manufacturers suggested retail prices would be websites like Kanakit and uh, Vilros. These uh, websites sell uh, Raspberry Pis, Raspberry Pi boards at uh, MSRP. But unfortunately, there aren't any that are available right now. You can't buy the boards only. The only things you could buy is you could buy the kits, which are inflated in price. Can't even find a Raspberry Pi 4 2 gigabyte as for as a single board as just a board or or even the one gigabyte. There isn't any that is available. I don't think they're making Raspberry Pi 3 B pluses anymore. Um, that's been kind of like replaced with um, Raspberry Pi 4 1 gigabyte. That that would that was going to replace the Raspberry Pi 3, which also has one gigabyte of RAM, but it's slower than a Raspberry Pi 4 in terms of uh, processing power. You can't even find a Raspberry Pi 2W. However, you could still buy the Raspberry Pi 400 and you could turn that into a retro uh, gaming console if you want. You could buy it at a reasonable reasonable price of seventy dollars. If you go to Vilros, if you try to buy a Raspberry Pi board, as you can see, they're all sold out. Even the Pi four hundred is sold out here. Can't even find a Raspberry Pi zero. W Raspberry Pi 4 or 8 gigabyte you can't find that either you could find them on Amazon however the prices are very 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 inflated this Raspberry Pi 4 2 gigabyte is $125 on Amazon and the MSRP is $75 so they're really selling it for much more than MSRP, more than double. And this person is selling it as a kit and selling it at for two hundred seventy-five dollars, which is which is inflated as well. They're doing a lot of scalping. Maybe the supply of Raspberry Pis are, or the availability of Raspberry Pis aren't are low because people are scalping and doing stuff like this. They're buying it from a website like um, Vilros or um, Canakit and they're selling it on Amazon, I think. They're buying it at MSRP and selling it on Amazon for more. However, there are alternatives to um, uh, the Raspberry Pi 4, like the Odroid SBC. What you can see right here, this is a pretty good single board computer. This is an old Droid XU4. It's been around for a while, so it is well, it is supported. A lot of um, software supports it, like different types of operating systems, um, game emulation platforms like uh, Laka, Batacera. Recall box, those are the three main ones that you can use to make a retro gaming machine. Um, I use a retro gaming machine in my living room on my 55 inch um, LCD television. I really don't use a um, SVC as a retro gaming console on my computer uh, where my computer is at because uh, 
my computer is much more powerful than an SBC. So there's no point in putting an SBC where your computer is at, where your desktop computer is at. There's no point. But in the living room, it's a great place to have a retro gaming console because it gives you that retro gaming feel from back in the 1980s and late 1970s where, where you had a retro gaming um, machine, kind of like an Intellivision, a ColecoVision, Atari 2600, Atari 5200, Atari 7800, a Nintendo Entertainment System, or a Sega Master System. Um, having having a retro gaming console in the living room is is very nostalgic, and uh, I I do play um, my retro gaming um, game. I do, I do play uh, retro games on my big screen television. And it's a pretty good experience. And there are alternatives, like I said, like the old word XU4. This is well supported. It's it's pretty powerful as well. This is compared to a Raspberry Pi 3. The XU4 is much, much faster than a Raspberry Pi 3, as you can see. It has a pretty powerful processor. And um, it runs at a pretty high clock speed of 2 gigahertz. It uses a Samsung Enox 5422 Cortex octa-core processor. And it's supported on Batacera, as you can see. Right here. You can just download the image, put it onto a um, micro SD card. And uh, you could have it. You could have your retro game uh, system running, or you could get it for LACA, which is also supported. On the Odroid platform, here it is, supported. And you also have Recall Box, which is another uh, emulation platform. See, Odroid XU4. I think this is the only Odroid that is supported. So this is widely supported. And I think this is a pretty good deal. And it is available. You could buy it now if you want. I think the country of origin for this SBC is South Korea. And there are other alternatives to um, oh, the Raspberry Pi, like... Um, Hey, so let's look at some of the alternatives to Raspberry Pi platform. So we have um, single board computers like the Orange Pi PC, which I've actually uh, tried out. And I think this is a pretty good board. However, it does lack Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. So if you want to use a Bluetooth controller, you're out of luck here. You have to use a USB controller only. And the only way you can connect this to the network is through an RG45 cable through there. But it does come with three uh, USB 2.0 ports. So you could mount a keyboard and a mouse and the controller as well. And it supports um, HDMI, not micro HDMI, like uh, like on the Raspberry Pi platform. It supports full HDMI. So you just need a HDMI connector to connect it to your PC. I mean, not to your television. This is a pretty solid board, and it's supported by at least three emulation platforms. LACA supports it, which is right there, Orange Pi. Batacera supports it.
just right here. And Retro Orange Pi also supports it, which is right there. So it's supported by three emulation platforms out of five, out of the five that I checked. So the Raspberry, for the Raspberry Pi, four out of five is supported. So the Raspberry Pi platform has the widest range of support compared to other single board computers. And um, if you want to just play classic retro games uh, from, let's say, uh, Intellivision or ColecoVision, Atari 2600 to a Sony PlayStation 1, this is a pretty good one. It's pretty stable as well. I didn't have any crashes or anything when I ran it for hour or hour or more basically so this is pretty good if you want to get one that has a um, wi-fi in it then you got to get the plus which costs a little bit more and it comes with a eight gigabyte emmc flash memory as well you could also use your um micro SD card slot as well. So the only difference between this and the Orange Pi PC is that this has Wi-Fi on it. And that's about the only difference. It uses the same power supply, the same case, and everything else. So you're just going to pay a little bit more for getting Wi-Fi. That's about it. And I do have, um, I did put a case on this thing, on the Orange Pi PC, and it's pretty, uh, it kept my Orange Pi PC pretty cool. It had, it's a case that came with a fan. I think it's a 30 millimeter fan or 35 millimeter fan. It was, um, pretty good case you can't use a raspberry pi 3 uh, case on this thing because obviously it's not the same you have to buy a specialized case for this and another alternative would be the banana pi m2 platform which i made a video on as well and i also did a case mod on it And this is a pretty good board. This was released around July 2017, while the Orange Pi PC was released around August 2017, 2015. So this was released about two years early, later than the Orange Pi PC. It has 512 megabytes of RAM. It does not have any type of uh, network connector to it. The only way you can connect to, connect to the network is through Wi-Fi. I think it has Bluetooth as well. It says 1080p on here video. Um, I wasn't able to get that even when I uh, ran this with an Armbian operating Armbian Linux operating system. Um, when I tried to get it to 1080p, there was all kinds of distortions on the monitor. And when I changed it to 720p, it worked. So 720p is the resolution that you're going to get. On the Orange Pi PC, I think it's 1080p is supported. And the Orange Pi PC comes with 1 gigabyte of RAM, while this comes with 512. And you the only way you're going to get USB support is through is getting some kind of adapter for this. One part is for the DC power. So this uses the same uh, power connector as a Raspberry Pi. While the 
Orange Pi PC uses its own type of power connector. It's not the same, so it's a little bit proprietary in a way for the Orange Pi PC. This is a pretty good board. I was able to run um, PlayStation 1 on it. Surprisingly, PlayStation 1 ran on this little board. This is a kind of like a Raspberry Pi Zero clone, but it's much more powerful than a Raspberry Pi Zero. And uh, it, I found it to be a pretty good board. It's pretty small. It would smaller than the um, area of a credit card. You could just easily fit it into your pocket. The bad thing is it does require a little bit of work to put a fan on it. I was able to put a fan on this thing, but I had to use a, another adapter for it. I it And it does kind of look messy, as you can see there. But uh, once you put a fan on it, it keeps it pretty cool and this is supported on let's see how many emulation platform orange pi pc laca supports it as well right there and of course orange pi pc which is built for it. banana pi i mean a batacera does not support it recall box is not supported retro pi doesn't support it so it will work out of two out of five emulation platforms, which I showed here. But if you just want to play simple retro games on your television, this is probably the way to go. And the board is pretty inexpensive. That's a good thing about it. It doesn't cost very much. But if you order it on AliExpress, um, you do have to pay something called a VAT, which is called a value added tax. I think it's about 10%. And you do have to pay shipping on some of them. And that's about it. And if you want to use an old computer, you could do that as well as a emulation machine. So basically, lack of the support computers as well. It does support Windows. Batacera also supports Windows. You have Batacera for x64 or x32 you could get recall box for a pc i don't think you could get recall box retro pi for uh, the pc well, let's do an overboard overview here so um the orange pi PC supports three out of the five. And uh, the one that I showed earlier, which was the Odroid XU4, surprisingly, there you can get RetroPie for the Odroid XU4. So it has a pretty wide range of support here. It's supported on LACA. With this supported on Batacera. It's supported on um, Recall Box, supported on RetroPie as well. So that has the widest range of support, which is pretty, da pretty darn good, in my view. But it does cost more, and it is more powerful than a Raspberry Pi 3. It has eight cores on it, so, but only two gigabytes, and it was released 
earlier than uh, a Raspberry Pi 3. And that's my uh, take on it. So there's many uh, platforms you could choose from. If you have an old computer, you could connect it to your television and use that as a uh, emulation retro gaming console. And you could use various um, single board computers as well. Uh, some have more support while others have less. And there's different prices for all of them. So I guess, the, I guess since, I guess for the winner for here would be um, the old Droid XU4 because it has the widest range of support. But um, second place, I guess Orange Pi PC would be a good one. And the good thing is these boards are available. You can buy them, unlike the Raspberry Pi boards, which you can't find. And if you can't find them, the prices are so inflated, it's just not worth it. It's just a ripoff. So that's my take on it. If you have any thoughts of your own, you can leave them in the comment section below.